Hello everyone, it's me Dori and welcome to my channel. This video was a very requested by exactly one person, so I thought I must create it ASAP. <laughs> Today I will show you how to create these very realistic looking paper moths. I have been able to fool many people that I am actually an owner of a collection of Hercules and Atlas moths. However, my collection is made out of paper and today I will show you how to create your own. For this project you need access to internet and a printer, a 3D photo frame or frame box, I don't know how exactly it's called, a piece of paper, a piece of paper towel or toilet paper, scissors, tape, hobby glue and some black ink pencils. That's it. Well, hi again, <laughs> and let's get started. The first thing you need is to find high quality photos of the moth you like. I use those in Wikipedia. They are of great quality and the ones I show you here are also copyright free. Next is to make a tiny label containing the common and the scientific name of the moth, including its sex. I am not sure if this is the way insects are labeled in collections, but this was the only information I was able to find online. Pay attention to have the Latin name of your moth in italic. That's the scientific way. Then it's time to print your moths. As always, I've got the adapter for my laptop. A few minutes later. Then you pray the printer to do its job and print. <laughs> One eternity later. I got lucky this time, although the quality of the colors is not matching those on the original. But I can fix this now with the help of my black ink pencils. My pencil case is also a card holder and a wallet, so it takes some time to get to the pencils. I use Micron Pigma 8 and Stadler's pigment liners, but whatever pen you have, I guess it will work. So, the idea is to trace some of the shadows and the dark parts of the wings, just here and there. This hopefully will create extra texture and make your moth a bit more dimensional. I'm not an artist and I must assure you, all you need is to go with your pen and enhance some of the black parts. And again, I will only do it here and there. Next is to cut your moth. This part requires some attention and precision. Take your time and try to cut exactly along the lines of the moth. While cutting, get rid of the big pieces of the paper hanging from the picture. And there you have it! I will now go and trace around the edges of the moth with my ink pencil. Next, I will cut just a bit over here between the wings, like so. This will give the mod a bit more three-dimensional look. Then you cut out your label. You take the so-called 3D frame you will use. I don't have a new one at the moment, so I decided to reuse this old IKEA frame that currently has my Atlas mod in it. I want to find a smaller frame for this one anyway, so... I will then cover the background of the frame with white paper. 
and I will use just a tiny bit of tape to tape the edges. Then you take the paper towel or a piece of toilet paper and you fold it to form a thick square and with a tiny piece of tape you tape it. <laughs> this will be the little base where the moat will be pinned, in our case taped or glued like so. All that is left now is to position everything on your frame the way you want it and glue it together. Starting with the square paper towel base and add just a tiny drop of hobby glue in the middle of the base and add your mod. Press firmly and add your label. Close the frame but be sure the wings are flipped in the right position. And that's it friends. Now go ahead and start your own paper mod collection and don't forget to share with me your creations. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. I will see you next time and until then be happy, enjoy life and stay inspired. Bye bye!